Hello everyone. Ready for some spooky shit? Cuz I am. Start a new game. Hey Seth. <laughs> I'm not laughing at anything you said, Seth. I'm my buddy at work said. <laughs> Gonna do standard yellow markers. I don't care about yellow markers. Sure, show action prompts. English. Next. Oh, you played it? I'm surprised. I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. I need money, Ma. <laughs> Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. You home, the girls want you home, but oh, that's this wife. Never mind. <laughs> if you we need money deal with this, then we are done for good. You haven't played it, you watch someone else play it. Not all the way, you. though. Oh, okay, I was just Wait watching forever. somebody on uh, before I got here on TikTok Live, he was playing oh, Jesus, Jesus. <clears throat> Indiana Jones Jesus. and the Fate of Atlantis for the first oh. time. This it is it it's a trip. I played that as a kid. This guy's like my age and he's playing it for the first time. I mean, my hat goes off to him for doing it. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye. All right. Seems my thumbs are coming through my gloves. I need to get better gloves. Uh, sorry, girls. Merry Christmas. Now, no, oh, that's the that's the letter I just read. I need to read it again. You ever think people put like uh, the people who make the game? They put like their old family photos in the games just to do it. <laughs> Fuck you, Seth. But yes. Oh my God! Look, I have feet. I have legs. Ooh, and I can crouch. Doesn't seem to be anything on the radio. Alright, let's go. I don't think there's anything else in here for us. Campbell! You got some soup? What you got here, Campbell? Aye, quite right, Trots. Dear Sirs, North Sea Oil Workers Union, Aberdeen Branch, gives notice under the provisions of the Trade Union and Labor Relations Act 1974 of our intention to take industrial action. Can I scroll with my... Can I scroll with this? Nope, I have to use my middle mouse. I fucking hate this thing. There. This is due to your abject failure to meet with our representatives to discuss genuine safety grievances from our members. We urge you to engage with us and resolve our valid dispute. Ah, fuck them. If it works, it works. Right? That's right. OSHA. Pfft, who needs them? Safeties. Hello? Glasgow Gazette. Linwood told to act or to accept deal or else. Scottish MPs seek assurance on jobs. Three trawlers chase Icelandic gunboat. UK in row with France. Oh, okay. Uh, 
that's why things happen here. The union, the unions, is the root cause. All right, everybody, memorize this map because I know I won't. Ah, night shift. They're sleeping. Oh man, sorry, O'Connor. Stay in this place. It sucks. Where's O'Connor's? I hope he's not sleeping in here. This is terrible. Davy must have gone back on shore last night. Oh, our buddy's gone. Oh, I'm gonna get lost constantly. Then that's fine. I got through alien isolation. I can get through this. All right, Cavs. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. Yeah. I've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high dough ever since. Yeah, he's gunning for you. That's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can't find my lighter anywhere. <laughs> mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. It's a close yeah, resemblance to this one. Plan. Okay. See ya. All righty. Take us out. Hey! We got nudity. Should we flush the toilet? Should we turn on the hot water? Ugh, I need to wash my eyes out because of what I just saw. Gibson and Dobby. Well, this is cozy. Oh, excuse me. Look at him just going into my co-workers' rooms. <laughs> He's fixing the radios. Doesn't he surprise me? Prick. <laughs> Stop immigration, reject common market, restore capital punishment, make Britain great again, scrap overseas aid, rebuild our armed forces. Ugh, what an asshole. All right, let's go get breakfast. Wait, what was that? Lights don't really do nothing. Laundry and canteen. We need to get to the canteen. Let's go to the crew lounge first. Oh, hold on. Yeah, see? Canteen. This is where you get it's where you get breakfast. Okay, so this is, this shows us the X. Yeah, that's that's where we are. We'll be fine. We won't get lost. Hello. Darts tournament. Ah. What's our character's name? <laughs> I already forgot. I've seen this game before. You think they play pool or do they play uh, snooker? Let's give us last words. Hey.
Hey all, I'm here for breakfast. You all right, Roy? Cars, my old mucker. I do. Cars, that's our name. McClary, to my office. That means now, not as soon as you're ready. Now. Ah, fuck. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think that's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Kaz. You hear from Sue's? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Sue's. He had it coming. Uh. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate. Even if it is the polis, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scunned up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. <laughs> Muchly appreciated. <laughs> but, uh, remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hang for that McCleary. Mm. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Oh, God. let me just let me just grab like a muffin. Just like a muffin, real, real quick. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mayor rigs up here by the end of next year because these pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none of this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones, and Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, this oh, place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here to fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's <laughs> coal, you numpty! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to forgive me if I start talking with an accent. How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. <laughs> no great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. <laughs> ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Nah, he's got you. <laughs> Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. Hmm. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> What's your mouth, McCleary? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna eat me? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, man, I hope there's some leftovers. Ooh. What the fuck is Colin Skink? Scotch broth, roast turkey, haggis, <laughs> nips and tatters, Brussels sprouts, carrots, pigs and blankets, black pud, gravy, bread sauce, pudding, <laughs> Christmas pud, and brandy sauce. Ooh. I don't even know what the fuck that thing is. What the fuck is Perkins? Perkins is a restaurant where old people would get made. Home sweet home. <laughs> can I go out onto the deck? Oh, I can. I can just leave. I can just fuck off. <laughs> like, I'm out. Hey. I know I'm not supposed to be back here, but I decided to come back here and wash my hands. Have we told you that 
you do a good Irish accent. I, I only do it with a couple of words. Let's, let's not get carried away. Alright, let's just head to administration. You know, we gotta go out here anyways. It is funny that you say that, though. One of the only times I ever got like, fucking pissed drunk. Apparently, I was talking with an Irish accent to the point where people thought, is he from Ireland? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Don't be jealous just because you don't have an accent. Ah, a foggy morning. Right. We gotta head up and see what the score is. Ah, there it is. An OSHA violation right here. Loose ropes just kind of laying all over the place. Hey, buddy. I'm all right to get by, pal. It's all right. You have to go around, cards. Tell you what, Kaz does not run very quick. Violations. That's gonna be the least of the worries. Are you saying some spooky stuff is gonna happen, Seth? No. On an isolated oil platform in the middle of a fucking ocean with fog everywhere? What could possibly go wrong? Fellas. Need a hand there, fellas. McCleary. No. I can scale up in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You'd give me less lip. No. He loves it. McCleary! My office! And don't make me ask again! In a better mood today, is he? You'll be all right, guys. Get used to it. We all get tough. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Give me a minute to check. It needs fair again. I can see through here. Bro crew will love that. <laughs> Renick will love it even more. You're telling them. I told them last time. This one's all yours. Hey, fellas. Everything going good? All right, Roper. What's the problem? We'll usually see you down here. Ah, trolls acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that news behind schedule then? No, not yet. Uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. Huh. So mere fuck than ever. Who as fucked as you by the sounds of it? Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Well, how long will that take? Orders in, but might be two, three weeks before the ship like. I can patch it, but we'll need to keep an eye. Maybe say a prayer and all. Seems like we're just doing yours. Stay on the path, mate. That cargo ice will crush you if you get close. Oh, I was hoping it would just break. Make <laughs> sure you have a proper pipe or there you talk. <laughs> All right. McLeary! Jesus, Scooby! You 
me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoop? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, nae bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Huh. My melee weapon. I'm gonna go stab the manager in the neck. Oh, here we go. Well, here we fucking go. <laughs> Enter. Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me, and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. Sip your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no ship. Shut your gob, you <laughs> mad prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bouking of you wee gobshites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! <laughs> you might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. But here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Wait, I know Shut you. it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! That, uh, trouble with the missus? You're ah. fired. You hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. Uh, it's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. A happy new year to you too, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me back in so I can fucking stab his ass. Yes, I'm leaving. Well, no more running for you guys. I mean, there's plenty of running. I'm still running. There's secrets. Hey, look! This is how you land a helicopter. How accurate is that, Seth? <laughs> oh, shit! Jesus, Gregor! Gregor! Man, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want you to die either. Just, just hang on. No! Fuck. Fuck. Well, he's dead. Oh, shit. I'm dead. All 
I know. I, I knew it was. Yeah, I know it's spot on. Yeah. Oh, but there's no secrets. Ah. Oh. Right what the Two fuck? Balls in a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran. You remember him? You know, it's Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes uh. me a favor. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Right, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then, that, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. <laughs> but perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Roll credits. <laughs> guys! Christ! He's got gold! Shit, guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Oh. We got you, man, alright? We got you! How did you get me? He's breathing, thank Christ. Kaz? Wake up, Kaz. Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <laughs> I lost the screwdriver. Hold on, I had to learn how to climb the ladder. McLeary! Thank Christ! You're right being up on your feet! My heat's killing me, but. Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out! Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Cass. Oh, Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no! Brass is still in there! Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Okay. Kaz! What? Right, aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raps, it's all right, we're getting you out. All right, we'll release the brake, the come back up. Release the brake, come back up. How do we do this? Uh, All right. Right. Uh, in the event of a power failure or winch snagging, the winch brake will automatically engage. The winch brake must be disengaged after power restored or obstruction removed. Step one, disengage winch brake at lower level. Step two, operate winch control on upper level. Danger, maximum three tons. Okay, uh, here. That's it! Come back and winch up the Okay, coming, coming. What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion, nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out now. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with Raps? I don't know, all right? Decompression shouldn't be this bad. I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, Raps. It's Brody. I'm going to get you out. Uh, is there anything there I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. 
The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. Oh. All right. Go head down there. All right. I guess we're gonna go under the rig. here at Lake D. We need to get to Lake C. Of course, the only way across is all fucking broken, so we gotta take the long way around. Oh, fuck it! That definitely is not OSHA safe. See? Ah! Oh, fuck it, my, my ankle! Unlock! <laughs> yeah! Unlock! <laughs> oh, this. Oh my god. He's doing exactly what I would do. Got a shimmy. Shite. Be in the fucking sea again. <laughs> I gotta fucking jump to the ladder. Monkey bar my way across now? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, just get across. Please weld, please hold strong. I look down, I look down, I look down. That's okay, because I'm safe. Woo! Better be wearing his brown pants. <laughs> they're blue, but I guarantee you that they're brown on the back. Ooh, that's where we came from. Hello. It's fucking 
dark as balls in here. fucking growth going on. Attention, There's been a minor drill issue, so for the time being, we are suspending drilling operations until it's fixed. A minor this drill is issue? This is a temporary drill issue. Drill issue? Jesus Christ. This is not a temporary drill issue. Ah, uh, we gotta monkey bars it again. Here at Lake C. So if we're here, we need to get, I think, here. So through the door, left, and a right. Finally, something useful. A headlamp. Oh, never mind. It's not a headlamp. No, no, it is. Typical management, right? Well, we can't go left. <laughs> That's not creepy at all down here. Minor setback. Monster is gonna kill everyone. <laughs> Get him. What the fuck is that? Hello. Who's making all that noise? Fucking something in there. There was definitely something in there. That's a good thing our guy's real skinny. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. That was a dead guy. It's not a dead guy. Beast. Cleary. Guys, over here. Jesus, Finley. You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. Should we no find him? Help him? No. Can I recommend that? <laughs> what does that mean? It means he's no all right. After that explosion, they got oil or some shit on him and just, I don't know, he freaked out, went for me. Ooh. He's still out there. You mean out here, as in out here with me? Aye, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. Have you seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from me. You're listening to me. Mm. It's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. I got a screwdriver. It's fine. I'll take care of him. Will he react to the light?
What the fuck? What the fuck happened? County opener. A slight drilling issue. steam. It reminds you of the Thing movies. Yeah! And there's only one The Thing movie. The remake is... We don't talk about it because it's terrible. It's not even a remake, it was just a... It's just bad. Well, definitely can't go that way. And I'm sure all that noise was, you know, nothing reacting to... A giant metal ladder hitting the metal ground. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're fine here. How are you? I'll tell you what. After fucking falling off the rig, waking up, he's got to do a lot of acrobatic shit. Oh, that's not going to give my position away. Okay, so we're here, but we're going to get through this area, and this is where crazy is. Okay. No, you're not coming this way! The fuck is that? Whew. The newer one? No, that was a piece of shit. God, it was awful. I saw it one time and I was like, nope. It's like when they tried to redo Jesus. Poltergeist.
moving. God! <laughs> go, man, go! <laughs> Close that as I go down. Stay away. Oh, Jesus Christ, he was a big boy. Sorry, Douglas. Douglas? Oh, Jesus. No. Can he be? No. Shit. Oh, God. Sorry, Douglas. I gotta go, man. There's a blibbity blobby thing behind me. All right, I forgive you. You would admit the spaceship part was dumb, but you thought I hate I hated every second of the movie. Because there are some games that should, there are some games, some movies that shouldn't be remade, some movies that don't need sequels or prequels. That's one of them. Jesus. All right, buddy, you uh, you just stayed in here, okay? You stay in there, and and you won't die, maybe. Jesus. God, stop. Shit. Fuck. Stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Jesus. I had to push Douglas's lifeless corpse off the ladder. You know, I know what that feels like, too, when it is so fucking cold on and you got gloves on, um, and it doesn't help. So a lot of times when I'm at work, when it's super cold, when the plane had just got there, I will take my hands and kind of put it next to and around the back of the engine, because the engine is so fucking hot, <laughs> it warms up your hands. Nice. Oh, it feels so good. Also, if they got the... Uh, a lot of the Airbus A320s, they have a, a vent 
right there next to the control panel on the underside of the plane. Uh, a lot of people, like I mean, like everybody down who works on the ramp, will huddle around that and while it's blowing and warm up that way. Is anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, fucking say something. All right, metal foot. Hello? McCleary here? No, but we had something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the underrick. Rennick, better give the evacuate. O'Connor, you have to go through accommodation. It's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! Shit, I don't think he heard you. Oh, goody book. Christ, that stuff is rank. Exactly, that's why I call you Metal Foot. You know what? Let's keep the stank in there. So I'm doing the... and try the galley. Please, please be there, mate. Trot. 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 Trot, is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. Trot, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up, wee man? Are you hurt? Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Charles, Charles. Well, I'd be able to see him. If that fucking blinding flashbang hadn't been sitting there. Ooh, coffee, take that. I don't warm your ass up. Water. Look at the detail on the water. That looks good. Hello? I haven't even had breakfast yet. You think it's still warm? Oh, grab some of that bacon. You can search and eat, too. Why, he, why does he seem so calm? Bloody hell, fire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Douglas? Trots, I think. I, I don't know, it's, it's this thing. I, you shut the fuck up. It's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I, I didn't stay to look, it just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking Sea. <laughs> <sighs> right. The lifeboats then? I'd still eat it. Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. 
Here's some extra prayers in. <laughs> uh, we're going to need them. Gus, um, you, you won't leave me. Uh, it's bloody terrifying up there. I'm not leaving you, Pat. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, you've got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen, get your man upstairs on the case, and I'll see you soon, right? Voice acting is pretty damn good. You get like a pop tart or something I could take. Like, I mean, I mean, I, I take just, just anything, man. I mean, I mean, that looks that looks pretty good. That's uncooked bacon. I don't know what that is, but that looks like diarrhea. Well, let's not eat that. This reminds me of Soma. Jesus. That's a head! What the fuck's happened to him? That's two heads. Look at him. Right there. He's like, Ugh. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Yeah, I mean, I have to agree with you. Well, Maybe I'll get through the chocolate is good and fudge is good too. Or uh, chocolate fudge is good, but cherry, <laughs> cherries are good too. I absolutely love cherry. Mm, boy. The fucking thing's locked. Anybody in there? Get my dry cleaning. Hey, that's the Comedy Central logo. Hello? Anybody in here? Occasionally storm 10 in 40s and chromaty. Rough or very rough. Occasionally high. What the fuck? That's exactly like the thing. Let's not go back in there. I'm gonna get this one open. No chance. My dad's safe. How about you? I'll take the mug and fill it with, up with red Vago. <laughs> he forgot a Y. F A Y G O. Christ. What am I going to get done there? Is that how the lifeboat's supposed to look? Oh, I guess we're shimmying. Please don't shake. Please don't shake. Please don't shake. Please don't shake. Yeah! We're okay. We're okay. Oh, Christ. Oh. Definitely 
it sounded like somebody got exploded. Do not obstruct doorway. Eh, that's fucking good advice. Locked. Oh, come on, you're joking me. I mean, it's... Grab a life preserver, put that on. Sorry, I had a, I had an itch in my ear. Alright, so it's safe to say that this one isn't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Oh, this, thank Christ. this one looks good. It is. Alright, uh, instructions. Okay, right. Looks easy enough. Alright, remove safety pins from both arms of the cradles. Engage brake lever to swing boat into boarding position. Embark crew and visitors. Secure hatches and check clear below. Lower lifeboat into water. Start engine, steer away from the rig. All right, so we gotta pull the pins from the winches and then pull the lever. All right, uh, pins, 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 pins. Pins, pins, here we go. Okay. Halfway out of here. One more. One more. Fuck. Ah. Right, now the lever. Get it into position. Where's the lead? Where's the lead? Where is the lead? Where is there it is? Okay. No! Oh, shit! What? And it's gone. Oh, that's just broken. Perfect. No fucking more. Can I call somebody? <laughs> yeah, fucking Womp Womp is right. Phone's ringing. Yellow! Who's that? Renick. It's me, Kaz. McLaren, what the fuck are you doing to my lifeboats? It's gone. It's just fell off into the fucking sea. You must have done that wrong. Fuck off, Renick. You built this fucking thing, not me. Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad. Bring anyone else you can find to. And whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. There's a safety door. The railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom. It'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad. Don't worry about me. You see, Renick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? No hard feelings? Get to fuck, McClary, and when you get back, fuck off again. I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my fucking record. <laughs> Go on your cell, you old fud. We're gonna get to the helicopter, and Renick's gonna be like, We're gonna make it! I said, yeah. We. <laughs> Oh, 
shit. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, we're well, uh, uh, spray at the base and sweep. I remember my training. Who's that? It's Kaz, Hannes. What's going on? What was that? Ennis. Ennis! Fuck. No, Larry couldn't even train himself, alright? Larry was... Larry was and is a fucking moron. I did all eight modules. That's fucking great, Larry. Do you know how to fucking actually fuel the plane? No. Alright, then shut the fuck up. Larry, what a fucking joke. I don't even know how he still has a fucking job. Bend your knee, keep your back straight. Don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't lift like, like the guy on the left, because that's how you, that's how you get messed up. Turn this heater on. So much for the fucking life. Oh, what happens in two weeks? For fuck's sake. How the fuck am I going to get him? Fuck, Suze, I'm sorry. CEO is retiring Friday. Big changes are going to happen. Good. Maybe Larry will lose his job. What the fuck? I don't like wishing people to lose their job, but somebody, like, he's, he's terrible. He's such a terrible fucking uh, manager and everything. He's just, he needs to go. For the betterment of that place, he needs to go. Same thing with Darren. They're both fucking terrible. Please, please hold my weight. This stuff is taking over. Christ. Your laundry's not in there, sir.
throats. Jesus Christ. Mop. Okay, I think he's back to hitting the fucking laundry. Trots. What? Uh, apparently, I got got. I was running too. I did the exact same thing last time, but he got me last time. I don't understand. Okay. Okay. All right. Roy. He's blocked the door. The freezer vent. Aye. Hey, Roy. Cuz, you all right? Jesus, you look terrible. Do not go down those fucking stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. I think it was Trots. No, it's just fucking horrible, whatever it is. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. Fuck knows if they ever work, but they definitely don't fucking work now. Yeah, yeah. I had a wee chat with Renick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? You got a better idea? Cuz, mate, I'm not gonna make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? 
Fucking kidding, Roy. No. Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Bloody Fit and Healthy. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. Right, all right, fuck's sake. <laughs> Do you know, just eat some fucking jam or something. Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr. fucking Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's fucking McCoy. No Spock. <laughs> he was the point of your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> to get to your cabin. You've summoned there, aye? Right? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that cunt doesn't he try leaving without you. All right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen, uh, uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the fucking help we can get, Kaz. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, OK? My girls need their godfather in one piece. Gotta get homeboy's insulin. I can't even get to the helipad this way. <laughs> Under the deck. <coughs> well, something big over there. Sound of that. Whatever it is. I have to get across to the bird. By Christ, I can barely see the lift to get there with this fog. It's got like some bloodborne monsters running around here. He can fucking leave us. Oh, we gotta turn the electricity off. Drilled too deep. We did like the dwarfs. We've done. We've dug no, too deep. No, no, no. Oh, don't be. Christ Almighty. Guys, Jesus, Ennis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing. It's new, guys. It's 
fucking mule. Yeah. Not anymore. Jesus. I... Christ. I thought I was done, Kaz. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, all right? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. It's no him anymore, Ennis. Does that mean you do believe? Save who we can. Aye, uh, uh, you're right. But the only way up is the crew lift. He won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past him. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But hey, then he'd be a hero if he hears me, all right? And then don't let him hear you. See you at the lift. Please! I can use an army! God. It's like a fucking Strider from fucking Half-Life 2. friend you're just you're not you Jesus. you're not you when you're hungry you're having snickers there's a left God, he's huge! Guys, oh, Christ. You all right? Can you get out? No. Muir was coming at me. I just froze. I didn't get out. I got myself in here. But 
the Colonel boys came down and we're right crabs in a creel now. Um, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. All right. You're a good lad, cuz. We're right back. I'm back. Uh, people came home. Dogs are going crazy. All right, raise the cargo high hoist. No way.
All right, I get, now I gotta get there. But he go a little bit farther away. Let's go, man. Let's go. I got you. I got you. I got you. Jesus. I had him. I had him. He slipped right through my fingers. Had him. We just need to to nuke this fucking oil rig. Fuck this place. We should go back and get them. Like hell we should. You saw them. They're gone. Get a move on. RJ! Renick! We have to give them more time. You told them to come. What I told them is that we are leaving. And we are leaving now. I'm not fired. I should have kept better than to let you two at the gather. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. Yeah. I seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this will all just blow over. No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Kaz, but I thought you were smarter than this. I'm fucking doing my best. No. No, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rigs, you roaster? I'm good with the lecky. 
Oh, there is houses, cars, flats, maybe a shop, if you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in a word. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. <laughs> just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit. Then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. When are you leaving? Tomorrow morning. You are shitting me, McCreary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm fucking scum up, Suze. What do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Hear me. Just a little conscious on the helipad. Don't say that. I'm, I'm here. Suze. Fucking hell. I'm losing my mind. <gasps> no fucking what. Okay, lifeboats are gone. Helicopter is a hundred percent gone. Great. Now fucking what? That big bastard's still down there somewhere. Lost the man that I was trying to save. It's been a bad fucking day. It's been a bad fucking day. On the bright side, nobody knows that Rennick fired me. So like I said, I still have a job. Jesus, the fucking chopper, man. Aye, I saw it. Did you get to the lifeboat? Aye, they're busted. Fucking kid down. Mechanisms are completely fucked. Cheap bastards. Danny Swap McQuarrie. Just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. It's fucked, man. The fucking crane fell on it. Hello? No, Hello? fuck. Shit. Hey. It's Brody. Hey, I know who it is, you daft prick. Listen, that's the generator's failing. <laughs> Emergency batteries, so the radio won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man, there's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. If they fail, you're going to need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again. Fucking gibble. Kaz, if the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. You go and do it. No, Kaz, I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from short and gossip. Aye. Jennies, right. Brody. Ah, shit. I know who the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fix a fucking generator. Christ, no wonder Rennick was raging. Dear sir, I am seeking information in respect of an incident that occurred on the evening of Wednesday, 27th, August 1975 at the Duke Public House in the Dennis Toon area of Glasgow. The incident in question involving a serious assault is being investigated by our crime division who are interested in speaking to a Mr. Cameron McCleary who is believed to be under your supervision aboard the Barrier D oil platform at this time. Cooperation in locating this individual and escorting him back to the mainland is of the utmost importance. If contact is made, please inform the GGD at the telephone number above and we will arrange transfer. We will make further inquiries in person at the offices of Cattle Oil LTD. If you are not able to assist us, we look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Martin O'Hagan, Chief Superintendent. Fuck. Well, might not be fired, but I am going to get arrested. Is the phone ringing again? Guys, who's this? It's Davros! I'm on a lifeboat! God knows how I made it, but I did! Where is everyone? They're all gone. You, you've got to get back up here. Go clean back up! I just got here. Do it again! Ah, shit! Davros, I... Davros, can you hear me? Hello? Fuck. Fucking generators.
Now, at the end of this game, is we're going to get hit with based on a true story. And be like, what? What the fuck? Hello? Anyone in here? Here. Good God. He's here. You didn't know who? Easy. What are you on about? Who's here? Uncle the Admin Roger. Who's the last? terror in these people's voices you can hear it it's palpable fuck yes Main control to the left, drill operations, administration, engineering, all downstairs. <laughs> I'm not going back down there. Good morning, everyone. Here is the shipping forecast for 0630 on Tuesday, December the 23rd, 1975. First, Gale Ward. What the fuck happened in here? That's a good fucking question. I can't get this one open. No chance. Uh, hello? Fucking A! It was just a head! It was just a giant fucking head! Fuck! Fuck! I guess I didn't pull it far enough. I'm dead. Up 
face like a man! <laughs> I had to run. I had to run and go to the left. Well, there's the helicopter. Oh, come on, you're joking me. Well, I can't go that way. I guess I gotta fucking jump to this fucking thing. Yeah, fucking cool. me Nathan Drake god damn I think Bruce can hear me. And I think we just listened to Bruce drown. Use <laughs> some 
cheap ass fucking locks, I can tell you that much. I'm so glad that guy threw me this fucking uh stuck fast. Screwdriver. Rickety scaffolding. This water's fucking balls freezing. Hold on. Need to shut this gas. gas there must first. be a valve somewhere. <coughs> Need to shut off that gas valve first. sake. I died to fucking gas. Wish it would have like sent me a, uh, give me a little bit more warning like, hey, you can't interact with this right away. I kind of didn't. It was just like, oh, just try to move it. Just try to move it. It wasn't until I tried like the third or fourth time that he was like, oh, I, I got to turn the gas, in, gas off first. Hold on. That's gas. Must be a valve somewhere. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the engineering. Finley. Jesus, am I glad to see you. Aye, you and all. Fucking Rennick nearly had me. He's, he's, he's changed. He's fucking vicious. It doesn't sound like he's changed much to me. Have you seen anyone else? Uh, uh, Brody. He sent me down here to restart the Jennies. The generators, aye. That's where I was headed. Yeah, but the lights are on. Uh, right, we're an emergency battery system, no. But it's not got any hold for long. The beer is taking a lot of damage. Infrastructure's compromised. Oh, that's just brilliant. So how do we get the Jennies working? Right, well, first thing, get in that cabin over there and reset the protective relay. That might kick the Jennies back on. Go on, see what happens. Go ahead and see what happens. Fucking course. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, beauty. At least that works. We better tell Finley. Things locked. Can I call her? I guess not. Oh, 
Maybe we can hit the reset button again. No, no, it's fine. Probably need this at some point. I work like a charm. Shit. The generator must have tripped because of a fault somewhere. Aye, and the relay will just keep resetting until we fix it. We'll need to restart the generator manually. Right, where you go then? There's two jobs here, McCleary. The Jenny's in the fault. You deal with the Jenny's, and I'll find the fault. What the fuck was that? I don't know, but the generator's all that way. Well, I'm no fucking going down there. Have yeah. you got a better plan? No? Aye, well, I fucking didn't think you would have somehow. Fucking got on with it! Aye, where you go then? <laughs> I love it, he's like, I ain't fucking going in there. <laughs> it's a nice little hidey hole. Another little hidey hole. Let's not touch the stuff. Pulsing. Jesus. goes outside. Climbing up. So it's a good thing I'm a skinny fella.
That's fucking not terrifying at all. Must be it. A wee hut over on the other side. No far now. Oh. He's there, but it's chickens. Fuck, that's not where that was supposed to be land. Yeah, he doesn't seem to react to uh, the light.
can fuck it up now. One. <laughs> you know seen a dare? Oh, it's that prick. But he's a being mud handling by the sounds of it. Listen, we are in business. We've gone for full power to batteries. He's sitting in the fucking dark. What are you all about? Oh, and getting in a stushy is gonna help us, is it? Mm. Just get that generator running. It's suiting the floor. The key for it should be in there somewhere. I'll be out here looking for the fall. We'll be looking out for a dare as well, all right? I'll be right back. The poor rock was in the garage. Keys, keys, keys. That looks like a generator key. God. Maybe, maybe take a couple others. Might come in handy. Just saying.
for fuck's sake. When I get the mud handling, I'll, uh, I'll save it. That far of a fall. Really wants me dead.
damn it. Fucking Thermos wasn't supposed to fucking bounce back like it did. Fuck's the can that I dropped? They just disappeared. Buddy, I need you to go away. Go to the other side of the room. Go. Ah, no way through. 
through. Ooh, phone's ringing. Hello? Finlay? Chad? No, it's Brody. I thought it was Finlay with the lights coming back on. It worked? Oh, thank Christ. Finlay was here, but we... we get separated. You all right? Aye. The rig is me, though. Oh, We're Jesus. starting to sink. Are you kidding me? How long till it goes under? Soon, if we do nothing. Uh. Look. I need you to come down to the pontoons. If we engage the tension when she's in all four legs, we can buy some time. What's the point? The pontoons, the electricity, they, they fucking things. It's a fucking nightmare. What are you on about? You survived this long, haven't you? More than can be said for most of the poor bastards on this rig. Christ, Kaz. Somebody up there must like you. That's what Roy keeps telling me. Aye. Well, he's a Barnsley fan, so... He'll be used to pray. <laughs> yeah, you're no wrong there. I'm no wrong about this either. You're the jammiest bastard on this rig. And we need that right now. So let's do this. Aye. What do I need to do? You engage the winches in legs A and B. And I'll do the others. Easy. Okay. There's a direct route down from engineering. Aye, all right. I'll, uh, I'll find my way down. Top man, cat. I'll give you a shout over the tannoy if we're in business. Alright. Sorry, dear. I have to go. stop for, uh, tonight right here this is where this is a, I think feel like this is a pretty good spot um, now if you'll bear with me I have to find a reddit story to read I'm gonna make it a quick one. And like normal, I'll pull up a uh, a video. But there, it's probably where about we left off at yesterday. All right, so now I gotta just find a good short story to read. Just give me but a moment. Ooh, that's way too long. All right, here we go. This is a pretty good one. All right, like always, we can you can find any of these uh, short stories that I have read and many more on the subreddit of No Sleep. This uh, one is titled "The Man Who Offered Me Nothing." Uh, it was written by a Kano Jano, K E A N O J E A N O. All right, let us read. The man who offered me nothing. <gasps> I was waiting for the tram on a cold, dreary evening. A light drizzle did a little more than mildly annoy as stray droplets of rain stung my face as a cold breeze washed them away. I sat at the stop, earphones in, blasting music, drowning myself in the noise so that the silence would never creep in. I dreaded silence. 
a silence that would allow my own thoughts to run rampant. Every new thought mingling into the kit uh, canophony of voices, every past mistake, every current detail, every future outcome coming together in a melting pot of overcomplication and anxiety until it all comes full circle and the overwhelming noise turns into a deafening blanket of silence once more. I dreaded how comfortable I had come to grow in that blanket of silence. The tram approached, its headlights illuminating the surrounding gray, the sound of it grinding to a halt, barely penetrating the music blasting in my ears. Its door slid open, beckoning me in. I stood up and received its welcome as I stepped into the third most car from the front. There was a middle-aged bloke sitting in the back of the car, clearly in a stupor from knocking back one too many, a lady a bit further up than me that seemed exhausted, a baby carrier containing a wailing child next to her, no doubt the culprit, a group of teenage boys at the front end of the car, clamoring around each other in high spirits over their impending bar crawl. Then the man entered from the same door I just came through. Strange. I was the only one at the stop. He must have just barely made it, I thought to myself. The man swaggered in, hands thrust in his pockets, as his shoulders swayed with confidence. He had a disheveled look about him, but not in an entirely unappealing way. The dark oak-colored hair was roughed up in a way that seemed intentional. His dusty brown leather jacket, heavily worn along with the dull checkered shirt beneath, and his dark blue jeans tattered through years of wear. His heavy boots clicked with every step as he made his way to sit directly opposite of me, leaning comfortably against the backrest. Hands still in his pockets, legs splayed out, splayed out, and chin upturned as he scanned the car. What a character, my inner monologue chimed in. A, a beep broke up my music. I looked down at my phone, only to see that my earphones were running on 5% battery. Oh, shit. I cursed the forced obsolescence wired, of wired earphones with the most modern... Uh, I cursed the forced obsolescence of wired headphones with most modern smartphones, realizing I would have to stew in my silence for the majority of the 15-minute tram ride. I looked back from my phone only to see the man's eyes fixed on me, pure intent and scrutiny glaring at me through the snake-like slits of eyes. Great, there's a fucking weirdo that might just kill me sitting right in front of me. I dodged direct eye contact with him, glancing off to his sides, hoping I would deter him from sizing me up like his next meal. Yet I could still feel it in my peripherals, his scorching hot stare burning its way into me. Three minutes would pass until my earphones bit the bullet, and I was forced to confront the reality of what is sitting in front of me. Still dodging the infernal gaze of the man, I attempted to eavesdrop on the teens. It was most likely about how hammered they planned on getting, how this, f how fine this one girl of them was trying to get with, yeah, trying to get with was the standard fare. An occasional burst of crying from the child or the unconscious belch from the middle-aged bloke would serve to welcome a reprieve. Yet, behind it all, there was the man, unmoving, unflinching, unwavering, as he seemed to await the meeting of our eyes. It got to the point where I was about to meet his eyes head-on, just to see what he had to say, if anything at all. A morbid curiosity overcame me, yet I resisted. This man was the epitome of stranger danger. <laughs> hey, you. His voice, hushed yet booming resounded off the walls of the car in a way that made it sound like it came from every direction at once. It's like he had spoken directly to my psyche. My eyes were pulled towards his, some intangible force compelling them to do so. I couldn't blink, nor could I look away, no matter how hard I tried to pull my eyes from his. In that moment, it felt as though it was just me and him. The banter between the boys, cries of the child, the drunken babbles of the bloke, all gone. It felt like I had been transported into some strange pocket dimension. His eyes relaxed a little, and we were now accompanied with... His eyes relaxed a little, and were accompanied now with a reary smile. Finally got your attention, have I? 
His voice was soft, but intense, understanding, but demanding. Everything about this man seemed to contradict itself. And in that moment, it seemed to be entirely his. My world consisted of his beady, red-hot orbs boring into me. Sorry, hold on. I got something on the side of my screen I got to move up. Okay, there we go. Uh, You're one of those strange ones, aren't you? I have been doing this for countless years, and I have peered into the depths of many a man's soul. I see their lust for power, their lust for control, and, well, their lust for outright selfish men, depraved men, spiteful men. Everyone has their demons. The man leaned in, elbows resting on his knees as he rested his chin against his knuckles. But you, you're a breed seldom seen, growing in popularity over the years. You yearn for nothing. To be clear, it's not as if you aren't wanting for anything. The thing you yearn for is quite literally nothing. The sudden annihilation of existence. The man was not wrong. Well, I can give you exactly that. He snapped his fingers, and with its echoes, my surroundings ceased to exist. I was suddenly floating in nothingness. An infinite abyss, a total vacuum. As I floated, I could feel my physical self dissipate, dissolving into the warm yet cold soup of nothingness. I could feel nothing, yet everything all at once. I looked around. I had no body. I had no need for eyes, as there was nothing to see. No need for ears, as there was nothing to hear. No need for a mouth, as there was nothing to say. Just my consciousness. Letting the currents of the ocean of nothing take me where it pleases. The silence did not feel like silence. Silence invited the noise of to flood my thoughts, barraging me until it beat me into submission. Yet now this silence was peaceful, true silence, where the overcomplications and the overanalyzations, the overthinking was truly silenced as well. He was right. This is what I yearned for. What is there to worry about when there is nothing at all? From the darkness to fiery specks of light lit up in the distance. Followed by the man's voice, I had been returned to the tram. The man still seated right in front of me. That was just a glimpse, my friend. He extended his hand towards me, palm outstretched. This will be to seal the deal. I was prepared to do it, to shake his hand, to make this deal with what I could only fathom was the devil himself. It was a moment of silence that lasted long enough for the noise to creep in, but the noise wasn't that of discord, as it usually was. It was a harmonious birdsong. Memories of pleasant breezes and sunny days, memories of laughter, of joy, shared between family and friends. Happiness. Happiness that would disappear along with everything else. My own happiness, as well as the people's I had shared it with, along with every person to have ever existed. It was in that moment that I realized it wasn't my right to take that away. As much as I hated the noise, as much as I hated the gnawing, the grating feeling always eating away at me, there were things that I loved just as much. I refused. The man pulled his hand back. There was no look of disappointment on his face. Instead, the corners of his mouth pulled into a little smile, and he retreated back into his chair. It was a good choice. I see that I helped you come to terms about something. Well, so long. Don't say the devil never did you any favors. He stood up from his chair and gestured his hand. Damn it. Uh, Fuck, where was I? He stood up from his chair, gestured his hand in a smug wave, and thrust them back into his pockets. I still couldn't move. I was still focusing on where his eyes had been, and still felt that magnetic pull towards there. It was like time was frozen. He ambled out of my peripheral view, and with that, out of existence itself. Farewell, and may we never meet again. Time came back to its usual flow. I could move. I was exhausted. I crashed into the backrest of my seat, gasping for air. The mother looked at me, concerned, while the boys continued to laugh amongst each other, and the drunk bloke at the back continued to sleep. The mother scooched over to me and laid her hand on my shoulder, asking if I was all right. I said it was nothing to worry about, as if I hadn't just said no to a deal with the devil himself. 
a deal that would have ceased all of existence itself. I was the last to leave the tram. I got home and called my family back home. I let them know how much I loved them and went to... God. Hold on. Last one. Let them know how much I love them and went to bed shortly after. I slept in the silence, and but the noise never came. Today, I sit here in a park. It's a sunny yet breezy day. The birds sing their song. The squirrels scamper around. People walking by their own lives chugging along. Their own troubles, their own triumphs, their own experiences. In this park alone, there was so much of everything I had to learn. Ah, I had learned to be content uh, by just being. All of this happening while I write this now on my notes on my notes app, my experience with the man who offered me nothing. And should this man ever approach you with a similar offer, please do not say yes. There is so so much more to life than you think. And that's it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Might be a little bit later on. Tomorrow, because I uh, I think I plan on taking a nap after work. But 